Artists in the Renaissance. Donatello. Donatello became fam famous for his creation of the David statue. The story behind David is a biblical hero who triumphed over his enemy under extraordinary circumstances. It is a very inspiring piece. It has been subject slash focus of many works of art. Statues, painting, fr and frescoes. And all forms of writing explored in explored the heroism of a youthful courage that that David <laughs> that David embodied <laughs> sure as he that. faced Goliath, the Philistine giant. The David sculpture was a new angle for copper sculpting. Mary Magdalene's story is a is a real life human being. It's actually pretty sad. She was a prostitute, which meant she was a woman of sin. She was mostly famous for her great beauty and long flowing blonde hair. And she ended up meeting Jesus and became a follower of Christ. The no longer ending mark of a chapter in the Bible. In the Bible. That says that Jesus has cast seven demons from her. The seven demons doesn't necessarily mean a form of sin, but could be referring to a complex illness. The rest of her background involves a lot to do with Christ and Christianity. Michelangelo. Like Donatello, Michelangelo also has a sculpture named David. He was inspired by art while he was going to grammar school. Michelangelo was mostly known for his sculpture. His skills in sculpting helped him become a good architect. Michelangelo had a passion for male beauty. This shows through his artwork. The sculpture David is based off the king of Israel between 1002 BC and 970 BC. Michelangelo was involved in the Cathedral of Florence and this made him for, it made, it, it made it easy for him to display his art, making him a very famous artist. Florence authorities had little hope of placing the six-ton statue at the entrance of the Palazzo Vesicio, re replacing Donatello's David. Leonardo da Vinci, not DiCaprio. What was Leonardo famous for, you might ask? Well, Leonardo's most famous piece, the Mona Lisa, was revolutionary. It changed the entire art world in the Renaissance and is still a huge influence on artists today. It was what people call the exact definition of perfect. And yet, Leo always saw it as a work in progress, so it never made it to the commissioner. He kept the painting until he died, and it was later fought over and stolen by a lot of people. It is now kept in a museum in France behind bulletproof glass. I don't know, but I don't think I'd want to meet them. He was also famous for, for the painting, The Last Supper. The focus of this piece was the Last Supper that Christ had with his disciples. They are split up into clear groups, Christ in the middle, and the twelve disciples split up on either side of them. Also, did you know that Leonardo da Vinci came up with some of the first ever documents of human anatomy? He was extremely fascinated with how the human body works and what everything did and how it did it. There were notebooks full of this kind of research. He had a very wide field of interest. You know what's really cool and interesting? What? Leonardo wrote everything backwards. Even his letters were backwards. You would need a mirror to properly read his notebooks. Really? That's so cool! Yeah, I don't know anyone who does something as crazy as that. Botticelli. Botticelli is really famous for the Primavera, one of the most popular paintings in the West art. The painting was also named Allegory of Spring. Most uh, critics agree that the painting depicted a group of mythological figures in the garden. This allegor allegorical uh, for the lush growth of spring, uh, other meanings have also been depicted among them. The work sometimes, or, yeah, among them. Yeah, that's really cool. He was a very mysterious person. Not much is really known about his background. Botticelli was, of course, famous for his art, but I bet he was known for someone else, for, for stuff back then as well. Art had a big effect on us. It gave people a wide variety on how to express themselves themselves and still hold the influence from back then today. Art in the Renaissance was changed dramatically by humanism. How did it change your ask? Well that's what we're gonna tell you you better like it. In the Renaissance art used to be only focused around religion. Everything used to be 2D as in no depth. And they look stiff and to add being flat the the proportions of people um to Two people were 
people to scenery, sorry, and backgrounds were completely out of whack. For example, there's a painting where the Madonna Virgin, Mary, and the baby Christ were bigger than the rest of the people in the painting. The men and women surrounding them were smaller, were smaller or were the same size as the baby. How are they came up with that? Pretty ridiculous. The landscapes and portraits were changed dramatically. They became realistic to the point where some people swear the eyes of the portraits were following them. For example, the Mona Lisa. People painted and drawn after humanism was introduced started to show emotion and were looking more and more like real people. One example is this piece, is the piece Expulsion of Adam and Eve. Color was used more in the backgrounds people, etc. The paintings became way more intricate and the artists were becoming more creative with their art. Some of the humanist inspiration came from Islamic and Roman Greek writing and architecture. Lots of higher class, wealthy people hired humanists as tutors for their children. People became way more interested in the world that was around them and focused less on the art afterlife. They believed that they were entitled to have joy and beauty in the life they had on earth. Oh my gosh, there's a bug on the ground! Like that? No, not exactly like that. You sure? Yes, I'm sure. Well, everybody else agrees with me, right? Not at all. Don't think so, sorry. Oh. Technically, you're not exactly right, but the people in the Renaissance really were fascinated by life. But, but then again, there was, before us, there was many things different and lost to explore and learn. Yeah, for example, Leonardo, example, Leonardo da Vinci. He had a wide variety of studies. His research involved the study of plant life and even the human anatomy. Some people say that he drew the skeletons of the people he painted before the outer appearance, and that's why his paintings are so lifelike. Did they have a weird species? Like ones we don't have anymore or something? Maybe. Who knows, though? Yeah, unless there was some sort of document about it, it's really hard for people of this era to know what kind of that kind of information. True. They probably don't have much about the world. I mean, they thought it was flat. They thought the world was flat for the longest time. And if that, and that if you sailed far enough, you'd fall off the edge of the earth. It's crazy ridiculous, man. We know better than that now. Yeah, I guess you're right about that one. Here's... We should cut that. Okay. Fun fact, Michelangelo is gay. Wow, didn't expect that. Yeah, what a surprise. By the way, did you know that the first parachute was sketched out and planned by Leonardo, Leonardo da Vinci in the 1500s? Really? Yeah, the parachute is a super important aspect for air safety and air sports. And it's pretty hard to imagine something as modern as the parachute was actually invented 500 years ago. But without Leonardo's sketch, the parachute wouldn't even exist. That means no proper safety in air transportation, transportation or in air sports, such as skydiving. Well, really, I don't want to think about a life without being to skydive. Uh. Wait, have you ever been skydiving? Maybe. Okay, guys, I think that's enough talk about skydiving. Hey, guys, I think I just realized something. What is it? I'm pretty sure you know. What? what? Oh, yeah, you're totally right. I can't believe it took us this long to notice. Oh, I see it now. You guys are right. But there's one thing wrong that we almost... Uh, we only almost have all the ninja turtles. Oh, crap. Wrong yeah. Wow. Shut up. Just restart. Okay, just go from here. What were you guys talking about? Do you even English? Wait, I think I know what you're talking about. Does it have something to do with the Ninja Turtles? Yeah, thank goodness you caught on. I thought it was totally obvious that that's what we were talking about. Oh, I see it. You guys are right. But there's one thing wrong. We only almost have all the Ninja Turtles. Who are we missing then? I need to think about that one. Hmm. Oh yeah, Raphael, he's the one we're missing. Raphael, he got replaced by someone even better. Who did he get replaced by then? Botticelli. GG, my friend. And that is how the Ninja Turtles affected humanism in the Renaissance. That's not quite right. I am so confused. This has been Leonardo. Botticelli. Michelangelo. Donatello, peace out, homie. The end. The end. Yay. Woo, woo.